So how is it going, Dank Division? Dank Dan here, and we're just here to talk about something small, nothing too crazy. And it is the package that was sent to a couple of content creators across the board for Call of Duty. One, of course, being Faze Swag, and we'll use him as the main reference point. And it's the fact that within this package were a couple of key things that they would get, along with the challenge that if they completed it, they would get 250 gifted subs from a thing called Unknown Caller from wherever they were playing. So, more importantly, what exactly did they get? Well, the first thing they got happened to be a random sandal that had a phone battery in it. Then they had a uh, paint can with a phone charger in it. Then a bar of soap with a SIM card inside, and a blanket, and within the blanket itself, a Nokia phone. And a note that pretty much said something along the lines of, I don't know how I was able to sneak this out of the prison, but keep this with you, and it looks like this is going to be something in regards to Modern Warfare 3's inevitable release. Now, what am I basing this off of? I'm also basing this off of one, we're about a week and a half till the reveal event that we're seeing. Not to mention the Nokia phone, which now you can see on screen, is almost identical to the phone we see at the end of the Modern Warfare 2 campaign that pretty much sets up no Russian. More importantly though, it's the fact that the items that they gave them is kind of a play on words to confirm something. I want, you, I want you to take each of the items that they released, and I want you to think about this. A flip-flop, or as most of us used to call them back in high school, a slide. Then a paint can. A can. And a cell. Take those three words together. What does it sound like? Slide, can, cell. They also then sent a message out saying that you'd be able to move faster in Al Masra. In other words, they did the most ultimate stupid, hilarious idea of confirming that slide canceling is coming back, whether that be something that we could be seeing currently going into the next update for Call of Duty, or if that's just going to be Modern Warfare 3 going forward, we'll have to wait and see, because let's face it, I never had a problem with slide canceling. I like the idea of being able to break someone's camera the same way you break someone's ankles on a court. What I didn't like was the idea that it would reset your tax sprint and that would be the only way to travel across the map at all times. So hopefully with slide canceling coming back, we don't see it be abused the way it was last time and it's used for its intent and purposes. With that being said, I want to hear in the comment section down below, what are your thoughts on this tongue-in-cheek idea that they came up with to confirm slide canceling? And what do you think we're going to be seeing going forward as we get closer and closer of course to the reveal of modern warfare 3 that of course being on august 17th so with that being said if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to drop a comment hit the like button as well as click that subscribe button and follow us on all of our socials and you guys have a wonderful day night whatever you're doing do it wholeheartedly and this is dank dan signing off get them to click that subscribe button dank it's the only way we can figure out the numbers what do the numbers mean, Dick? We're wasting valuable time.